Dozen donut holes get a dozen free. Huh? Must be a new flavor or something. Hi, <laughs> <Hey>, yeah! <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> 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 swept the North Shore last night, which, by the way, has four to six foot waves today. Police have no clue as to the thieves' identity. So if anybody has information, they are asked to call. Tch, they'll never catch a crook that way. Now, if my favorite Earthling detective were on the case... You could have been eating a bowl of chili at Max Diner that night. Max Chili is for a law, extra spicy. You can't handle spicy food! <laughs> you got me coming. You got me... Peppers make my tongue swell up like a balloon. Dicky Copper always gets his man and never messes his hair. <laughs> so the opera is only pretend danger, but my Euphrasian incubator is real danger filled danger. One wrong screw of driver and come away. It must be very delicate. Come back, Scrub. It's my turn to play headhunter. <laughs> Lilo, Stitch! Yesterday I told you no running around the house. So what do you do? You run around the house. Last week, I told you to clean your room. Is it clean? No! What's gonna be next with you? She almost made me drop highly unstable container of Euphlasium. Well, what do you have to say for yourselves? Uh, well, I ate breakfast like you asked, and I can prove it. Uh... And you're supposed to say excuse me when you burp! That does it! You two are grounded! 24 hours! What's the big deal? We didn't hurt anyone. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? For the 20th time, we're almost back to the ship! We'll give it a little gas, Grandpa. We don't want the cold cuts to spoil. Hurry up! We're being conspicuous! Yeah, this metal's too strong. <laughs> hey! Oh, who are they? Chiba Chu! Experiments. <laughs> hey, where are you going? My gold cuts have got to stay cold. Those little trots are trying to break in my ship. I can't let them get away. Yeah, well, I can. Not the emergency brake! There, you see? Refrigerate after opening. Now, if that's not an emergency, I don't know what is. Am I right? Warning. Experiments 349 and 350 activated. Primary function, theft and evasion. Thieves, huh? <laughs> I'll have them stealing for Homsterville in no time. First, you gotta catch them. Easy. Thieves always return to the scene of a crime. And when they do, we'll be waiting. And then the beautiful Hawaiian princess was punished by the evil queen who banished the princess and her faithful steed to the tower, where they were forbidden to leave for a whole entire day. There, they rotted into skeletons, even though they just wanted to run around the house and burp. The end. You took a knockout. Where are you going? 
Kurganaka. We can't leave. We're grounded. Sasa. I don't care if it's a free country. Nani would roast us. And I don't care if we should be able to do whatever we want to do whenever we want to do it. We can't leave. So, so, what are you waiting for? Help me up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Look, those must be the robbers from the news. And they're... Cousins. We've got you cornered, cousins. Really? I think it's us got the drop on you, cuz. Well, hello there, blue boy. Hmm? One of Jumbas, huh? Hi, I'm Lilo, and this is Stitch. He's your cousin. This is how it works. I turn you from bad to good and find the one place where you belong, so you don't end up with Gantu. What do you know about Gantu? We know everything about him. He's a stinky head, and he tries to get our experiments, but he's really lame. So even when he catches them and takes them back to his ship, we can usually rescue him. You've broken into his ship? Sure, lots of times. No kidding. Hey, I'm being rude. Come in, come in. I'm 349, and he's 350. Welcome to our domicile. What are you doing? You're showing him our hideout. I don't think. How many times I gotta tell you? Leave the tinkin' to me. Those two goody goodies are gonna help us break into that very high tech, very valuable spaceship. This place is a mess. I bet your evil queen, I mean, big sister, grounds you all the time. Nah, we're free agents. Nobody tells us what to do. Wow, that's awesome. Well, it's been nice chatting. Guess you two better be getting home. Wait, we want to stay here with you and be free agents. Well, I don't know. Speaking of Robin, we gotta get back to work. Guess you guys better hit the road. But we like it here. Sorry, we can't leave you alone here. Too dangerous. And we couldn't possibly bring you along. Why not? Uh, you don't want to hang out with us. We're just going out to have fun, be free. Steal stuff. <clears throat> All part of doing whatever we want, whenever we want. I mean, if that appeals to you, I, I guess you could come with. I guess if nobody gets hurt. Course not. Just having fun. We really taking them with us? They're our decoys, see? While they're being a little naughty having fun, we're doing crimes. And they won't even know it. Once we got them trained, we move on to the big prize. <laughs> You two, get out of there.
It's the only thing on this mud ball with anything worth taking. We tried hitting it once, but it's got heavy duty armor. That's why you two are here. You're gonna help us break in. What's the matter? You've done it before, right? I don't know. Before we were rescuing experiments, but breaking in to steal stuff? Look, this thug's always stealing your cousins, right? And you're not up to return in the favor? Well, when you put it like that... Dr. Humsterville will make good use of your thieving skills. Ow! You're not going anywhere. That's not. Quite the escape. You two got great criminal minds. When can we cross the big fat line from having fun to being great criminal minds? We got to catch these guys. I only got to go surfing once today. Better move on. What are we gonna do now? Dump the car and lay low for a while. Just need a temporary hideout. Where's your crib? My house? We can't go there. My sister. Your sister will never know nothing unless you tell her. Which you won't, because we got dirty laundry on you now. Dirty laundry? You don't want us to tell her you've been out doing crimes with Bonnie and Clyde, do you? I think we blew it, Stitch. Mm. You couldn't have been drinking milk at Max Diner that night because you're lactose intolerant, aren't you? You got me covered. You got me. You can hide in here, but you have to be quiet. Somebody's coming. Hide. Huh? Oh, I wish I could interrogate people like Detective Dickie Copper. All right, you crooks. Let's talk about your dirty laundry. Hmm? Our dirty laundry. I know what you're hiding. Filthy, smelly, unmentionables. Dark reminders of your dirty dealing. Relax. We just want to ask you a few questions. We? It's a good cop, bad cop thing. Why not make it easy on yourself, guys? It's all going to come out in the wash anyway. Uh... Quit stalling, half pint. Well... Hey, hey, calm down, partner. They're just kids. You're a softy. These little runts have made a mess of things, and now they gotta come clean. Or do you want to talk about it downtown? I... I... Lilo! I'm home! You and Stitch, come down here. I need to talk to both of you. We gotta go. <laughs> well, that was fun. Where was I? Oh, thank you. Wah! Say, you two match the police description of a pair of dogs! Nani, Stitch and I are so sorry. Ah, forget about it. Who wants pizza and ice cream? Ice cream? Mm, yeah, I kind of <sighs> overreacted earlier. I mean, you were only roughhousing in Burbank, 
It's not like you're criminals or anything. And you paid your debt to society. You stayed in all day like good little prisoners. We're not hungry, are we, Stitch? <laughs> not hungry for pizza and ice cream? Why? Okay, okay. We'll talk. We did stay in all day. We broke out, and we met two of Stitch's cousins who have been doing all the robberies. And we walked on the grass, and we TP'd Myrtle's house, and we took nuts from Mrs. Hasegawa's, and then we helped him break into Gantu's ship. We plead guilty to all charges. <laughs> oh, Milo, why would you do things like that? Bonnie and Clyde let us do whatever we want. We thought it was okay because we weren't hurting anyone. But Milo, you were hurting people. Myrtle's mom has to clean up her house because of what you did, and Mrs. Hasegawa has to pay to replace whatever you took, and... And most of all, you hurt yourselves and me. Now, how am I supposed to trust you again? Help! Help! Now what? <gasps> We've been robbed! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Stitch! Let's get him! <laughs> You're not going anywhere. But Stitch and I are the best ones here at catching experiments. Yeah, too bad I can't trust you. I've been given strict orders to keep you two little crooks here while Nani calls the police. But we've got to make up for what we did by catching Bonnie and Clyde. You've got to let us go. Lilo, I know a little something about the law, and rule number one is don't let the bad guys go. But what if we weren't the bad guys anymore? What if we were good guys? Do you promise to uphold the law, bring criminals to justice, and never do anything evil or bad again? Yes. <laughs> Then, by the power vested in me by the Dickie Copper Jr. Detective Fan Club, I pronounce you Deputy Lilo and Deputy Stitch. <laughs> Deputies are not to eat their cookie badge. Since Buggy was stolen, you good guy deputies will need other way to chase bad guys to their hideout. A Federation police cruiser? The Red One! Uh, yeah. 626 took it during his original escape to Earth. Euphlasium powered, seats 5, 0 to hyperspace in 0 0.02 microseconds. Also, no snazzy leopard print upholstery. <laughs> you guys can go. I know exactly what Detective Dickie Copper would do next. Those coppers will never find us at our new hideout. <laughs> Just fly away. Must be an off road vehicle. I knew a hideout is the one place they never look. A place we already robbed. That's clever, all right. You made one teensy mistake, though. Yeah? What's that? Thinking you could turn us from good to bad. You're busted! Get a Clyde! <laughs> Nice shot, partner. Lilo, I can't believe you disobeyed me again. You two are in real big trouble this time. I'm going to have to take you down to the station. Oh, no, you don't. Those are not the real thieves. These are... Lilo and Stitch and I infiltrated the thieves' gang so they would lead us to their hideout. That was a good plan. It's a very basic sting procedure. Don't you watch, Detective Dickie Copper? Sorry we disobeyed you again. We had to to catch the bad guys. 
So, are we off the hook? Well, you were trying to do the right thing. And you did get the bad guys. So, yeah, you and me are cool. But you and the municipality of Kokawa Town, that's another story. This making up is hard work. Yeah. And we still have to find the one place Bonnie and Clyde belong. Fortunately, we have 15 to 20 years to think about it. That was quite the escape. You two got great criminal minds. When can we cross the big fat line from having fun to being great criminal minds? We got to catch these guys. I only got to go surfing once today. Better move on. What are we going to do now? Yep. I think we blew it, Stitch. Uh. You couldn't have been drinking milk at Max Diner that night because you're lactose intolerant, aren't you? <laughs> you got me, Copper. You got me. You can hide in here, but you have to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could interrogate people like Detective Dicky Copper. All right, you crooks. Let's talk about your dirty laundry. Hmm? Our dirty laundry? I know what you're hiding. Filthy, smelly, unmentionables. Dark reminders of your dirty dealing. Relax. We just want to ask you a few questions. We? It's a good cop, bad cop thing. Why not make it easy on yourself, guys? It's all gonna come out in the wash anyway. Uh... Ripples. Dark reminders of your dirty dealing. Relax. We just want to ask you a few questions. We? It's a good cop, bad cop thing. Why not make it easy on yourself, guys? It's all gonna come out in the wash anyway. Uh... Quit stalling, half pint! Well... Hey, hey, calm down, partner. They're just kids. You're a softy. These little runts have made a mess of things, and now they gotta come clean. Or do you want to talk about it downtown? I, I. Lilo, I'm home. You and Stitch, come down here. I need to talk to both of you. We gotta go. <laughs> well, that was fun. Where was I? Oh, thank you. Wah! Say, you two match the police description of a pair of dogs! Nani, Stitch and I are so sorry. Ah, forget about it. Who wants pizza and ice cream? Ice cream? Mm, yeah. 
I kind of overreacted earlier. I mean, you were only roughhousing and burping. It's not like you're criminals or anything. And you paid- I thought it was okay because we weren't hurting anyone. But Milo, you were hurting people. Myrtle's mom has to clean up her house because of what you did, and Mrs. Hasegawa has to pay to replace whatever you took, and... And most of all, you hurt yourselves and me. But how am I supposed to trust you again? Help! Help! Now what? <gasps> We've been robbed! <laughs> <laughs> You're not going anywhere. But Stitch and I are the best ones here at catching experiments. Yeah, too bad I can't trust you. I've been given strict orders to keep you two little crooks here while Nani calls the police. But we've got to make up for what we did by catching Bonnie and Clyde. You've got to let us go. Lilo, I know a little something. I gotta hand it to you, kid. That was quite the escape. You two got great criminal minds. When can we cross the big fat line from having fun to being great criminal minds? We got to catch these guys. I only got to go surfing once today. Better move on. What are we going to do now? Dump the car and lay low for a while. We just need a temporary hideout. Where's your crib? My house? We can't go there. My sister will... Your sister will never know nothing unless you tell her. Which you won't, because we got dirty laundry on you now. Dirty laundry? You don't want us to tell her you've been out doing crimes with Bonnie and Clyde, do you? I think we blew it, Stitch. Uh. You couldn't have been drinking milk at Max Diner that night because you're lactose intolerant, aren't you? <laughs> you got me, Copper. You got me. You can hide in here, but you have to be quiet. Somebody's coming! Hide! Huh? Oh, I wish I could interrogate people like Detective Dickie Copper. All right, you crooks, let's talk about your dirty laundry. Hmm? Our dirty laundry? I know what you're hiding. Filthy, smelly, unmentionables. Dark reminders of your dirty dealing. Relax. We just want to ask you a few questions. We? It's a good cop, bad cop thing. Why not make it easy on yourself, guys? It's all going to come out in the wash anyway. Uh... Quit stalling, half pint. Well... Hey, hey, calm down, partner. They're just kids. You're a softy. These little runts have made a mess of things, and now they gotta come clean. Or do you want to talk about it downtown? I, I. Lilo, I'm home. You and Stitch, come down here. I need to talk to both of you. We gotta go. <laughs> well, that was fun. Where was I? Oh, thank you. Wah! Say, you two match the police description of a pair of dogs! Nani, Stitch and I are so sorry. Ah, forget about it. Who wants pizza and ice cream? Ice mm. cream? Yeah, I kind of yeah. overreacted earlier. I mean, you were only roughhousing and burping. It's not like you're criminals or anything. And you paid your debt to society. You stayed in all day like good little prisoners. <laughs> We're not hungry, are we, Stitch? Not hungry for pizza and ice cream? Why? Okay, okay. We'll talk. We didn't stay in all day. We broke out, and we met two of Stitch's cousins who have been doing all the robberies. And we walked on the grass, and we TP'd Myrtle's house, and we took nuts from Mrs. Hasegawa's, and then we helped him break into Gantu's ship. We plead guilty to all charges. Oh, Milo, why would you do things like that? Bonnie and Clyde let us do whatever we want. We thought it was okay because we weren't hurting anyone. 
Yeah, Milo, you were hurting people. Myrtle's mom has to clean up her house because of what you did, and Mrs. Hasegawa has to pay to replace whatever you took, and... And most of all, you hurt yourselves and me. Well, how am I supposed to trust you again? Help! Help! Now what? <gasps> We've been robbed! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Stitch! Let's get him! <laughs> You're not going anywhere. But Stitch and I are the best ones here at catching experiments. Yeah, too bad.